Okay, so so far we've created our folder structure, we've created our first web page, and we've looked at the structure of example.com. Now you'll notice from that that our first web page didn't look much like example.com. So let's go and um, and fix that. So what we'll do is we'll select the actual content, the source code of example.com, and we'll use that as the beginnings of our own web page that we're going to develop slowly. So I've just gone to edit, copy there, to copy that to the clipboard, and now I'm going to switch back over to Text Wrangler. So there's my Hello World file that I saved before. So I'm going to now save as. I'm going to create a new file. And we're going to call it index.html this time. Index.html is a special file name which is generally used to refer to the, the main page of a website, the home page essentially. Okay, save that. Now let's get rid of the Hello World and paste that in. So first of all, let's just make sure that's working fine. If I save that, so file, save, and then switch back over to the finder and open index.html in Google Chrome, it should look exactly like example.com. And there it is, fantastic. Now, what I'm gonna do here is close down these tabs, because I don't need them anymore, now on a Mac there's a nice feature where you can split the screen in half and you can have your text editor on one half and your browser on the other half. I believe you can do that on Windows as well. If you just drag the window to the edge then it will make it display like that and that's just a really easy way so you can see your code on one side and you can see the actual outputted website on the other side. Okay so let's just make a few changes here um, and get rid of things that we don't need. So I'm going to get rid of example domain and I'm going to call it my first web page. Now you're going to get very used to doing this. We're going to go to command S or control S for save, um, same in Windows. And then we're going to go over to Google Chrome and we're going to click the refresh button. And now you notice that we've got the same content here, but the title here is updated to my first web page. Fantastic. Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of all of this styling because we don't want to um, put anything that we don't understand yet. So I'm going to keep the meta tags because they're fine. Um, just get rid of the styling. Now, if I save that, so Command S again, switch back over to Google Chrome. Now, Google Chrome, you can actually refresh the page by pressing Command R. So I'm going to do that now because it's a little bit quicker than going and clicking that button every time. In Windows, I believe you can do that with F5 is your shortcut code. And now you see that the, all the formatting's disappeared. We've still got our nice headers, and it looks it looks not too bad, but we don't have those nice rounded corners because they were controlled by the styles that we've just deleted. Okay, so back to here, we've got a, um, our header tags. What I wanna do now is just get rid of all of that content for the moment, because we're gonna put it in ourselves. And once again, save, refresh. So now we've got a blank, blank canvas essentially and we're going to start by putting some header tags on that and seeing how it works.